Hello, 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 hello. Is that bright enough? I think so. <laughs> Full ya, Yawn32 and Bowser. Hello, y'all. Hello. Full ya, what time is it? Is it like really early in the morning for you? <laughs> How does time work in Australia again? Let's go. <laughs> and Fulia, I, have you played this entire game? I know you started it, but did you actually finish it? I'm excited. I'm excited to play. It's 11.50 in the morning. Okay, good. It's not late. I was like, uh, is it super early or is it super late? I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. You haven't. Okay, you haven't finished yet. Okay. Well, I have done literally nothing, so we might just get through the prologue today, but we shall see. Hey, Pat, welcome in. How are you? Um, so I was on the fence if I was going to stream today, y'all, but I knew I wanted to play this game in particular because I got a code from the publishers to play this game. Even though it's been out for like a month, I just got my code for it. So I am excited to get into Fall of Porcupine. So yeah, I have, I did play the prologue of this game. So I'm gonna basically be redoing that again because I'm starting all the way over. But I played the prologue because they have a free demo and I played it on PlayStation. 
um, but I played the prologue all the way through on PlayStation and I loved it so much so I knew I wanted to request a code for this. And here we are. You've been watching me all day, Bowza. I saw you comment on like a video from like over a year ago or something like that. <laughs> Which, completely fine. <laughs> Please, give me the views. Give me the views. Um, so I have water and chocolate covered almonds. The uh, Walgreens Simply Honest Nice brand. Um, because we're just chilling. I'm like, I'm kind of ready. I'm kind of over this heat, y'all. I'm kind of ready for the fall weather. So that's another reason I want to play this game today. And I've been dying to play it. You haven't heard of this game, Pat? Well, anybody can play the demo. I think you can play the demo on Switch as well, which is what I am playing it on today. But I have the full game, so I'm so, so, so excited. I've most likely picked this game up now that I have a few Steam gift vouchers from birthday presents. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I warned you about that. Your husband killed me. Yeah, he doesn't always show up in my videos, Bowser. It's very rare. But, um, yeah, I was, like, finishing off the outro of my video and he, like, spoke loud enough that the mic picked him up and I was like, I'm gonna put that in the video. You think I'm lying, but I'm doing it. <laughs> but yeah, I hope- I hope you had a great, um, birthday. Fulia, sorry. I'm ch chomping on the almonds. Let me switch over so I can switch, uh, screens here. Switch over to this. Mm, I think I'm gonna turn my overlay off today so we can see the full screen. I'm not sure if I need to manage my webcam because of um, dialogue, but we shall see. Oh, I just realized there's two different audios going. Let me turn one of those off. Okay. Now, let me let y'all know a little bit of background on this game, because I do have a little a little write-up document from, I'm assuming the publishers created this. So it was developed by Critical Rabbit and it was published by Assembly Entertainment. Not Assembly, Assemble Entertainment. So big thanks to them for this code. Um, a little bit about Fall of Porcupine. Fall of Porcupine is a unique and emotional story adventure that deals with the collision of work and daily life. Players guide young Finley. Finley's the name of the pigeon. He's a pigeon, y'all. He's a pigeon. Through his first weeks at a provinci uh, provincial hospital, he is on fire for his apprenticeship as an intern. Controlled by the player, he runs, jumps, and glides through the city of Porcupine. At first glance, the small town is a warm, friendly place where everyone knows and greets each other. But if you live there for any length of time, you'll suspect not everyone is as honest as they pretend. Oh my gosh, I can't read. As they pretend to be. So yeah, I, I do remember from playing the prologue that it starts getting kind of juicy. There's a twist. It looks like it's going to get really dark. So we shall see. Pigeon Brains Unite. Yes, I had to play this game. Fully, I think you suggested this game to me, and so I had to play the demo because it has a pigeon in it. Come on. So let's uh let's just get into it. <clears throat> oh, what's this? I wasn't paying attention, thought it was ACNH. No, it is Fall of Porcupine. It is just a story adventure game. But there are, like, puzzles and things you have to do. So you're basically a... Uh, almost a doctor. You're basically an intern at a hospital in the town of Porcupine. And you're trying to solve the mysteries. The prologue gets you up to right when the story starts getting, like, serious and, like, kind of dark. So hopefully we can get through the at least the prologue today so y'all can see that little twist. It gets a little scary. At least it looks like it's going to get scary. I really don't know. So yeah, no Animal Crossing. We're playing Fall of Porcupine. I am real excited. The main character that you play as is Finley, who is a pigeon. Pigeon brain. Hello. 
I mean, it's no-brainer, you gotta play it. Exactly, Pat, exactly. I really enjoyed the prologue. I am very intrigued about- ex Me too, Fulia. It- they get you, like, on a cliffhanger at the very end of the prologue, and so... I'm excited. I'm gonna turn... The sounds down a smidge. And maybe the music? I'm gonna leave the music where it's at. Um, let's see what accessibility features they have, just f for curiosity. So you can change the text size. Oh. Dyslexia mode. Ah, uh, changes the font, makes it easier to read. Color mode. Simple mini games, you can turn those off. Player guidance, you can turn on. Cool, so they've got some accessibility in here. Language, Dutch, French, English. Hello, can I just play? Here we go. <laughs> I was like, what, do I do? what am I doing here? What am I doing wrong? Follow Porcupine is a- oh, okay. Let me- let me catch up on chat and I'll read that. Um, that's so cool. Awesome. <laughs> John, are your dogs- you vote for French, really. I would need guidance. I- actually, I took French in middle school. So I- but I don't- I can't comprehend Pigeon Brain. I can't comprehend any of it now. No, no, not Dutch. It's German. Oh, you're right. You're right, Fulia. Hmm, maybe Drellish could help me through that. Um, Follow Porcupine is a story set in a healthcare environment. It contains plot points that deal with issues relating to stress, illness, death, and self-doubt, among other things. Please pause the game if you feel unwell and consider contacting family, friends, or a professional uh, for support. I like that little warning at the beginning, and that's like a nice way of putting it. So there's your, there's your caveat for those that can't handle these types of stressors. I'm good, so we're just gonna get into it. Oh, what is that? Is that a porcupine with leaves? I played this on PlayStation, so I'm curious to know how the loading screens are gonna be um, on Switch. It does get a little heavy, yeah, I do remember some of that. His eyes are glowing. Y'all, let me know if I need to turn the volume up. Hello? Knock, knock. Hello? Ooh. Difference in the lighting. <laughs> this gives me, um... Oh my gosh, what is the name of that game? I can't remember. Pigeon Brain, forget it. Hey Finley, you're finally awake. Why the long face? It is creepy, John. <laughs> oh, nothing, I... I just wasn't expecting to run into my houseplant. This is cute already? Yeah, Night in the Woods, yeah, like the art style kind of reminds me of that. Who did you expect? Your washer, maybe? By the way, we gotta talk about her. The way my pot vibrates when you set her to spin. Oh. No. I don't know. I think I'm looking for something. Oh really? What would that be? I have no idea. If that's not me... <laughs> Y'all, if that's not me, that was literally me yesterday. On stream. Right before I started stream, I was gonna tell y'all something. And then I forgot. I have no idea. But it was important. Yeah, I, I still don't remember what I was trying to remember to tell y'all yesterday. And I think I've lost it. Well, if you don't remember, it couldn't have been that important. You would think. I'm sure it can wait, buddy. You think so? Of course, come on. Relax. Just take a look at this meadow. Bask in the lush grass, soak up the sun, and groove to the soothing tunes, dude. 
How can you worry when you see that? Yep, it's good to be out in the sun. Yep, he just flowers like, go touch grass, my, br my brother. That was a big teaser. I thought you remembered. I didn't. I don't remember, John. I don't remember. You need a notepad and pen at your side at all times. What's funny, Pat, is I do, but I don't write it down. I need to train myself to actually write things down as I think of it until I am better at remembering stuff. Or a whiteboard. I guess I could, but that's that's Sean Capri's thing. That's not my thing. <laughs> I'm not sure I hear any music, though. Oh yeah, wait a minute. There we go, better. He brought the music in. Yes, I like this. Cool Amundo. Just let your leaves dangle. Just let your worries take a hike, man. Yes. Yes, I should do that. I just need to uh, relax a little bit. Great, that's what I want to hear. Post-its all around my screens. Ugh. I have post-its too. Don't use them. I use my phone to take notes since it's always with me. You think I would do that too, Fulia? None of these things. These are great ideas. But I don't do it. I have notepads, pens, phones within reach. Lost things just turn up eventually. So go find yourself a comfy spot. Make yourself at home, my man. I might. I'm gonna have a little look around. It's so beautiful here, I wanna pick my spot carefully. The choice is all yours. Just relax your frazzled feathers. That's the main thing. Enjoy, finno. Sweet. We can hop. We can frolic through the meadow. And talk to our flower again? What is this? Well, hello there, ombre. We meet again. How's the relaxation coming along? Did you find the person you were looking for? Uh, let's see, it's going quite well. It's really nice. I don't have a clue what you're talking about, like, in the moment of walking from over there to here, I, should I say? I don't know what he's talking about. Person? I'm just gonna say it's going quite well. I don't want to say I'm that, that pigeon-brained. Like, I clearly am looking for someone. I take my backtracker's notes on my phone. That's a good idea. I haven't been outside like this in a long time. It's easy to forget how much good it does you. Word. Once I find my spot, I might just stay. That sounds great. So what are you gonna do now? I don't know yet. Who's the big guy behind you? What? Oh, him. That's Hugo. We went to university together. He's great to climb around on. I used to do that all the time. Hello, Miles of Amanda. How are you? How are you? I need to make a command for you. I'm gonna actually, you know what? I'm gonna take a note from those in the chat that are telling me, literally within reach y'all, I have a notepad right here. I'm gonna make a note that I need to make a command for Amanda. Command for There. I took a note. Look at that. Your own command. I will do that off stream. <laughs> I made a note. It has to be done now. I'm pretty sure I have one for Fulia already. In case any of y'all do not watch Fulia, I'm pretty sure everyone here does. Um, but in case you don't, I'm pretty sure. Please say I do. If not, I'm making a note. Haha. There is Fulia. I need to add. Mm hmm. Look at here. I need to add your Twitch, your Twitch to that. Fulia. Add Twitch. I'll add that to your command, Fulia. But I do have your <clears throat> your YouTube there. Sounds like that plant had a wild time at uni. Something like that, McBeal. Also, I have a command for you, McBeal. Um, did I change that command? 
Yes. Slightly. But I even I have a command for McBeal. Because it was it's because of Ribo. It's because of Ribo that I got that in there. <laughs> he doesn't get reprieve anywhere. He doesn't there's no there's no uh, little little source of of comfort anywhere. Just because you're in my chat, being nice doesn't mean I can't be mean back to you. <laughs> Welcome in, y'all. We're playing Fall of Porcupine. We're at the very beginning, so you haven't missed much. Um, and we started from the very beginning as well. So if you haven't seen any of this, you can play the prologue, which is where I'm at right now, um, as a free demo on PlayStation, Steam... I am playing it on the Switch, so you can play it on Switch as well, but I, I have the full game, so... Thanks to the publishers for providing me the code to play this. But you can play the prologue, which is what I'm playing right now, um, on Switch or whatever your console of choice. But let's talk to our, our plant that is talking to us, apparently. What did you do to get permabanned everywhere? Um, I don't know what he did, Bowser. I don't ask questions. Um, Ribo just says he's banned, and so I made a command. This game looks so cute. I do like it. And it has a pigeon, Amanda. I, I call myself the pigeon brain all the time. So I had to, had to, had to play this. Alright, back to the flower. He won't let me anymore, though. Not since I had aphids. Oh, no. Want to give it a try? Sure, why not? Yeah, let's just swing from this big beanstalk. But I don't think I can get past that giant flower. Hold on. We'll have that sorted in no time. See? No problemo. Did he just pull that down? The whole ground was shaking. Yeah, my controller was shaking. Hugo's qu <laughs> quite ticklish. You need to be careful when you climb. And don't break any of his leaves off. He prides himself on his great foliage, you know. Alright. You just beat everyone at Mario Kart? It's teaching me how to jump. I have learned this. I learned on my own. But you're a pigeon, just fly up. You would think. <laughs> That's true, Pat. Why can't we fly? The punishment doesn't fit the crime. Sounds pretty fitting to me. <laughs> Hello, Finstar. Up here. I see you. How'd you get all the way up there? I'm a plant of many talents. I'm not allowed to climb here anymore, so I had to come up with another solution. What do you want to do? I don't know yet. Maybe I want to dive into that water? For real? I thought we were gonna chill, man. Besides, that looks mighty deep. I think so, yeah. Maybe what I'm looking for is down there. Oh yeah, we're looking for somebody, but we have no idea who. Which sounds just like me, because I can never remember anything. Pidgey forgot she can fly, maybe. Maybe. Good one, Pat. Are we gonna jump? Well, whatever floats your boat, Chief. I'm more a partial shade kind of fella. Besides, I'm prone to overwatering. Right. Can I go? We're going. This music is a vibe. Oh no. It's an underwater level. The pigeons near me rarely fly. Oh. Hello? There you are. You know me. I n never pass up on a g good time. Are you freezing? I'm g g going to c catch a c c cold. Then you'll need to, to take care of me. Go shopping for m m m me. D -d Do my taxes. <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> oh no, they walk everywhere. Moving to bed and getting you on the TV. I don't know how I feel about that bounce. <laughs> Pigeons can swim underwater. Incredible. They have they're they're they have many talents, Amanda. Many talents. The water's lovely. I don't know what you're going on about. 
No, no. I don't like water. So you want me to stop watering you then? Th that's different. You w wouldn't get it. It's a flower thing. Act actually. But maybe we could, could get out of here. Alright, alright. I love how it's like, let's both get out of here and I'm just the one swimming away. Oh, what is this? Hello? Isn't that the statue from the town square? Are you in char- Are you in charge of the water here? That's the question I'm gonna ask. A statue and an inanimate object? Underwater? That's because pigeons aren't real. That's true, McBeal. Lulled me to sleep with pigeon vibes. Coo! Coo! <laughs> you know, it's a flower thing. Can you hear me? Why am I talking to a statue? I'm looking for something. Maybe you've seen it. No response. How rude. It's a freaking statue, Finley. Please. I don't know if I continue straight or if I go up. Okay. Oh, good. We're on the beach. Each. We caught the wave. We're here. Oh, here's our pal. The Finmeister. There you are. It's the cozy games. Listen, I'm here for the cozy games tonight. I'm already ready for fall, y'all. It's way too hot. It's too hot. I mean, this flower is wearing sunglasses. That's how hot it is. We need a Brewster spinoff game. Mm. In this art style, I would love a Brewster spinoff game. What took you so long, bud? You're looking better again. Hey, who could be... Who can be down when you're down at the beach? That moment when the excess water disappears and you feel the first tickles of photosynthesis kick in. How is it August already though? So true, Pat. So true. Soon school will be back up. There will be kids all over the place. We live close to an elementary school. It's the only reason I say that. There's nothing like it, man. I just can't get enough. I forget everything around me. Who are you again? Oh, now our flower forgets who we are? Finley, you live at my place. Pina gave you to me. Uh, Pina gave you to me. You're from her flower store. Finley. Fonley. Dingley. <laughs> Dongley. <laughs> what? Why is that? <laughs> Why did I read that? That's so stupid. <laughs> Loving the no traffic in the mornings right now? That's true. This flower... What is happening? <laughs> Some of this was not in like the demo version of the prologue. It kind of skipped from where we were when we started to being in town. So some of this is kind of new for me still. All the same to me right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Burn it. <laughs> this place, he's already burning in the sun, Pat. <laughs> but he has shades. This place seems kind of familiar. Have you been here before? Maybe, but not like this. You sure do have some strange thoughts, mister. <laughs> you forgot who we are. So have you found what you're looking for yet? No. But I don't think I'm actually looking for something. I'm looking for someone. Well, congrats. Yeah, congrats that you remembered you're looking for someone. You found someone. Your very best flower buddy. Now he remembers who he is? Now kick back, grab a cold one, and sink into the sandy embrace, dude. We haven't had a vacation in forever. I... I'll be right there. Maybe I'll find who I'm looking for here on the beach. Alrighty, but don't get sunburned. I ain't no aloe vera if you're catching my drift. <laughs> the flower's more pigeon brain than the pigeon? Possibly. I don't- maybe it's getting too much sun now and it's like brain is like frying. But he ain't no aloe vera, so... Shouldn't be- <laughs> shouldn't be in the sun for too long. Can I go now? Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Oh. We're practicing our jumping skills. Did I just jump into the... Am I in the clouds? I just jumped on a bouncy castle into the clouds. What is happening? This was not in <laughs> the the demo. <laughs> Ingrid, nice to see you here. Do you happen to know where... That's a cloud, buddy. <laughs> that is a cloud. Where Mr. Arndez is? Mr. Arndez. I was looking for Mr. Arndez. He's a patient of ours. And he... He disappeared. I was taking the elevator, and something went wrong. I have to find Mr. Arndez. I think that's how you say his name. Otherwise, something will happen to him. Sorry, Ingrid. You know how much I enjoy our conversations. But I've got a feeling something's happened to Mr. Arndez. We'll catch up again soon, I promise. Dude, he, she is not talking to you. I usually get the Sunday night scaries. Thank you for this distraction stream. <laughs> Listen, I'm here to serve. <laughs> Is this Zelda? Tears of the Kingdom? Yeah, we're in the sky sky. We're in the skylands. Hey, Lockleth, just dropping by before bed. Just want to say I hope you have a great stream so far. Have a great rest of your stream. Thank you, Tyler. Have a good one. <laughs> it's Ingrid's ghost. Oh, no. <laughs> Actually, you know who she looks like? Have y'all seen uh, Monsters, Inc.? She looks like um, the the lady that's in charge of everything, like, but she's the one that asks for the paperwork from Mike Wazowski. She's like, I need your paperwork. <laughs> I can't remember her name. She looks just like that person. I'm assuming something occurred. And we're slowly remembering it. I'm assuming we're dreaming, but I really don't know. Because this is wild. This is, has so many turns. Okay. A portal. I've already beaten portal once. Roz. Yes, thank you, McBeal. Mr. Arndez has to be here somewhere. Hello, Mr. Arndez, can you hear me? Y'all. I'm scared. <laughs> um, I'm gonna turn it up on my side so I can hear it. I want to hear the scaries. This is Pigeon Shutter Island. It looks just like it. Looks just like it. At least you can see his eyes. Can I not run and jump? Hello? Y'all, what's this on the floor? It looks... suspicious. Can I go in here? No. Uh, maybe. It's- it's- it's dark, but it looks, uh, it looks possibly red. Oh no. There's another spot. <laughs> There's another spot. Oh no. Uh. Hello? <laughs> Someone in there? There are boxes full of documents and folders on the old hospital bed. Strange place for an office. I guess everyone has their own take on interior design. 
Don't ask questions if you don't want to know the answer. <laughs> Raccoon for sure. Yeah, it's Tom Nook. The bed almost looks like an actual desk. Maybe I should... Someone is shouting. There's someone back there. Mr. Arndez, is that you? Hello? Oh, there's more. Oh no, ooh. That's... Blood. Alright, there's our answer. <laughs> we got our answer. From the intern himself. What you making? All the barbecue. Ew, it's still fresh. Yeah, this game took a turn. So this is kind of where... I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm like slow... Oh. Oh no. What is this? <gasps> Mr. Arndez, you're bleeding. Don't move. Ugh. What? Who? Who are you? Alright, y'all. I'm gonna go on a quick pause while my husband reheats his food. What's the snack of choice? I am eating chocolate covered almonds. Um, and apparently, I had no idea until just now. It has sea salt caramel, sea salt caramel flavored dusted with cocoa powder. I don't know if I can tell it has all of that, but they're pretty damn good. Nice. They're pretty good. They will help me calm my nerves while we unravel this mystery. Alright. Back to the matter at hand. Mr. Arnez. Just stay calm. I'm going to help you. Is anyone there? Is the audio okay for y'all? Could you hear that loud bang in the game? We need some help here. Hello? Mm. Pardon? What? My god. <laughs> um, okay. So we were dreaming? Was it all a dream? It was all a dream. Possibly. Uh, St. Ursula's Tasks. I think St. Ursula is the name of the hospital. <laughs> Apparently we have no tasks right now. Um, text from Mia. Hope you're feeling well. Glad you're coming back to work today. Maybe we'll have time to chat. Then you can finally tell me about, uh, all about what happened. Oh, let's scroll up. 
Maybe we can figure something out. Hi, Finley. Dr. Krakowski asked me to send you my number. Hello, Mia. Thanks. Here's my number two. Looking forward to working with you. <laughs> me too. See you tomorrow. Um, get well soon. I just heard what happened. Should I be worried? How bad's the injury? Thanks. Don't worry. I'm fine. I'll just rest up for a few days and I'll be back at work. Hope you've not got too much work covering for me. Don't worry about that right now. Just be careful in the future. There's a lot going on in our ward right now. Just get yourself healthy again. So did that actually happen? And so we've been like bed rest until now? I don't know, y'all. Carl? What you got to say, Carl? I think Carl's also from work. Hello, my fave pigeon. Hello, Gubs. Welcome in. You missed a little bit of creepiness. <laughs> I'm just going to walk my doggies and then I'll be back. Okay, no worries. Have a safe walk. Um, let's see. I don't know if I want to read all of this right now. <laughs> That's a lot of reading. There's a lot of reading going on. Let's just look at it later. So did we really get hit on the head? We have a band-aid on the top of our forehead. Man, another one of those weird dreams. I feel really groggy. Feels like I haven't slept at all. Maybe I should just give up sleeping altogether. <laughs> so you've been injured and your coworkers told you about it? That's fun. <laughs> Hello, Keely Monster. Welcome in. Nice PJs. I do like my PJs. Thank you, McBeal. Okay, nothing else for it. Time to get up. Yeah, can I can I get up? Hello? We had a strange dream. But we woke up from Finley's not not nightmare. They they forgot the tea in nightmare. Oh, it's the flower. Is he going to talk to me? There you are. Just standing there in your pot as if nothing happened. You've given me quite the restless night. It's all right for you. Uh oh. Wait. It's all right for you. You don't have to go to work. If I find beach sand in your pot tonight, there will be trouble. The flower's job is just beach. That's all, it, that's all its job is. I used to game with my roommate every night when we were at university. She always kicked my butt in the one-on-one -on -one Viking battles. I figured I could treat myself to some gaming after work. Fat chance. I haven't touched a thing since I moved in. So we are busy beavers. We just changed our clothes behind the wall. Magic. I got a heap of mail when I first moved here. Porcupine isn't big, but it still is kind of nice. A bus timetable, a sightseeing guide, and a trial subscription to the daily newspaper. Maybe I'll become a newspaper reader one day. Then I can buy a pair of glasses like Ingrid's. It's Ingrid. Sean, I found her. She's not, she has not passed. She is here. How many lives have I saved? Lockleth MD? None so far, Roy. Welcome in. <laughs> How are you? Are we good? Can we leave? Prefer the PJs to the jacket? We're, we're professional, okay? How do I get out of here? Oh. I'm doing good, hope you are. Doing well. I'm excited to play this game today. I don't know which direction I should be going, but I'm gonna go this way. Ban Ron. <laughs> Hi, Ron. What is this? Some people have a bakery within walking distance or a grocery store. I have a used clothes container. Different, but just as practical. Well, aren't you just something, Finley? 
Why are we banning Ron? What did he do? And he's not Ron, he's Roy. <laughs> I misread uh, Ron's name yesterday in my stream. And so I called him Roy. And so now he's just Roy. I combined Ron and Savoy. I don't know where I'm going. I don't even know if this is the place I'm supposed to be going. Oh. It's kind of nice watching the trains chug off into the distance. Seeing a train always makes me want to go traveling myself. Why don't you? Oh, can't go that way. He throws buckets of water at me and... What? <laughs> IRL? Like in real life? What? What's happening? <laughs> Or was this, uh, was this all part of the birthday stream? Man, that stinks. Either there's standing water in there that's been there for years, or it's home to an evil clown with terrible halitosis. Knowing gift form. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what? No reason your thirst mode activations earn those buckets. Oh my gosh. Too much. Too much. Um, is he referencing Pennywise right here? Is that what's happening? Oh no, a clown! <laughs> Let's hope there's not actually one. Someone seems to have set up a fishing spot here. There's a note. Dear readers, Time and place are two loose threads that don't always come together. Some call it destinies. Destiny, I call it chaos, order, life. And you, seeing this note right now, are part of it. Consider yourself lucky. But please don't sit in my chair. I'll know right away if you take my place. Regards, F. Hmm, looks like this is already reserved. It won't let me sit in it anyways. Um, we know we can swim from our dream. Do we think we can swim in game? Ah, It won't let me. Dang it. Fine. F for fish. <laughs> or for Finley. The pigeon that we're playing as is named Finley. Which I think is a cute name. Okay, I guess we'll go this way because we've reached a dead end. It's always natural for me to want to go right um, when I leave every building in game. So for once I went against my usual instincts and went left. Time for you to head off. Might catch you when I get back if you're still on. Have fun. No worries, Fulia. Thank you for coming. Ooh, a bike. Thank you for coming. Have a good uh, rest of your Monday since you're living in the future. That bike's been there ever since I moved in. So either someone moved and forgot it or it's not biking season here. If it's still there come winter, I'll take it with me and get it fixed up. Finley's talking about stealing a bike. Oh, look at the good dog up here. Look at you. Hello. Morning, Finley. Oh, her, t her, her, her tag. Her tail is wagging. <laughs> Morning, Finley. Running late? Hey, Susie. Yeah, I had a restless night. Crazy dreams. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Most nights, I don't dream at all. But sometimes I dream that I'm running. Just on the spot, for no reason. That definitely comes from work. I heard... Louis Colbert's having trouble sleeping too. He's worried about the store. People just don't buy as much stationery as they used to. I love stationery. I buy a lot of stationery, y'all. I will go mad in an Office Depot or stationery store. But do I actually use it to write down important notes? No. Until tonight terrible about it. I mean, I'm not complaining less for me to carry, right? Are you doing your rounds already? Come on, you know me. Better than that. I'm finished already. Just wondering what to have for lunch. Lunch? You really have an odd routine. Well, the post won't post itself. True, but I should post myself to the hospital, that is. Don't let me stop you. Don't get lost now. That's what happens when you don't know the town as well as I do. Oh, we have a message. A note. 
Susie is the only mail carrier in Porcupine. She knows everyone, perhaps a little too well. I get the impression that she's a little too nosy for her own good. Ah. Okay. This is a lot of reading. Fine, I'll read it. Mia started as an intern on the same day I did. It's her first job too, but I'm impressed by how much theoretical knowledge she has. I think I can learn a lot from her. Carl, Carl is a nurse on my ward. He approached me um, on my first day after talking directly to Dr. Krakowski. He has been at St. Ursula's for a long time and knows his stuff very well. I'm very happy to be able to work with him. He's well known and loved by most people. He took me to Gilbert's. There, I met some new people from Porcupine. Cool, cool, cool. Pina is the one that gave us our flower pot. I met Pina on my way to work. She's very nice and has a flower shop in Porcupine and she's my first real contact here. Ingrid. Ingrid is the lady that we spoke to in the clouds that didn't talk to us back. But here's how she actually looks. She's a hippo, apparently. Today I earned, uh, I entered a hospital as a resident for the first time. Ingrid welcomed me and roughly explained everything. She's the heart of St. Ursula's. I'm just concerned about her snacking and coffee consumption. If Ingrid knew how much coffee I drank, she would be concerned. I had two Red Bulls today, y'all. Not my best. Krakowski. Dr. Krakowski is my senior resident. Uh, she heads internal medicine one on the third floor. And I'll tell you how it is. I'm a little scared of her. During my first few days, she made a lot of demands on me. I try to live up to her standards, but I don't always succeed. Oh, we can't live up to the doctor's standards. Go figure. I think we're going to take the bus to work, but what's this way? Oh, a sign. Um, I can get to the old town and the high street. It's weird what passes for a high street in a small town. All I know is that Pina's store is there, but I should check out the street when I'm free. The old town lives up to its name at least. Small, crooked, old houses, the town hall, the town fountain, and Gilbert's, of course, the best the and only pub in Porcupine. And best of all, both routes lead to St. Ursula's Hospital. Do we do that or we take the bus? Can we take the bus? There's a note. Unfortunately, the citizen's bus is out of service. Of course it is. Until further notice. We ask for your understanding. Look on the bright side. With fuel prices the way they are, walking's a better option anyways. Blah, 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 blah. Suits me just fine. Why did I buy a monthly pass if the bus only turns up once a month? Oof. Finley, you just wasted your money there, buddy. So let's do... Let's take the high street. Let's take the high street. He said both lead to the hospital anyways. Big bridge. Whoop. It's so clear. You can see the glow milk woods from here. I like this morning air in the fall. Too bad I don't have more time. I wouldn't mind grabbing a coffee and eating my breakfast here. That sounds wonderful, actually. That sounds wonderful. This is, ugh, I'm so ready for fall. I'm so ready for autumn, for fall, cool weather, sweaters. Even though it's more winter time when I can start wearing sweaters. Okay, well the bus doesn't work. Hello? Do you need help? Goodness, you're a fast walker. Are you being chased by a rolling rolling boulder? What does a pigeon eat for breakfast? Probably breadcrumbs. <laughs> Probably. That's what I assume anyways. They, they eat anything. That's kind of why if you put um, exclamation point lurk, I don't remember if I put breadcrumbs in there or not. Yeah. <laughs> I added breadcrumbs to my uh, lurking command. <laughs> That's my first um, thought when I think of what pigeons eat. 
No, no, I'm just running late. Late for an appointment. You know, the more time passes, the less I believe in the idea. What idea? The idea of being late. That's what I need to, that's what I need to tell people. When they're like, hey, you're, are, you're late. I'll be like, I don't believe in the idea. And they'll be like, believe in the idea of what? Of being late. I'm, ju I'm just here. Are you new here? I've never seen you before. Yes, actually, I started at St. Ursula's Hospital a few weeks ago. So, you're a doctor? Yes, well, almost. A junior doctor. We're a baby doctor. That's marvelous. People like you are just what Porcupine needs. My name is Adele Von Witterstein. These names are interesting. I'm Porcupine's oldest citizen. I've seen many people come and go. Some were in a hurry. Some have stayed to this day. You, I'm guessing, you are the hurrying type, am I right? Yes, but only because I need to get to work. Well, one should never throw rocks into the rushing rapids. But when you have a moment sometime... I know a lot about this town. You can always ask me if you have any questions. I might just take you up on that. Thank you for the offer. I see it as my calling. But for now, full steam ahead. There are younger folk than me to keep alive here. Yes. It will not take you ages to get where you're going. Um, I think it just gave us a note on Adele. Elegant, eccentric, graceful. Interesting. Okay. Are we about to talk to this guy too? Is this the pub? <gasps> Is this the pub? Gilbert's. It's a pretty good place to go. Not that there are alternatives, really. I'll be back here soon enough. Well, I'm gonna talk to Gilbert anyways. Good morning, Giuliano. Long time no see, Finley. She's coming back. Adele's coming back. Did she forget something? Yeah, I was laid up in, a, in the bed for a while. Thought as much. The band-aid gives you away. Everything good with you? I'll be alright. I'm sure you will. You want to cool that lump on your head with a nice cold drink? Just come by any time, okay? Looks like a good pub. It does. It has a turtle. It has a turtle on the sign, McBeal. And I like turtles. So, it's a great pub. Are we almost to the hospital? I'm ready to get to it. It's the statue underwater we tried talking to. That's the big town fountain. It's a statue of Ninoslav Honoratus, the founder of Porcupine. What's up, Nino? Why isn't the water running? Seems to be broken, clearly. Clearly, Finley. That's the only logical explanation. Rusty old truck wasn't here last time I came to work. It's locked. Suspicious. What are you hiding, rusty old truck? That's kind of what I was thinking. I doubt it's treasure. A dead body? Maybe even ten dead bodies. Finley. Chill. Is there super secret alien technology inside you? Are you the truth of all things? The answer to the great questions of the universe? What did Finley have for breakfast? Amanda? <laughs> what was in those breadcrumbs? We're talking to all of the inanimate objects. Why do we care? Gotta head to bed. Good night, everyone. Thanks for the stream. No worries, Amanda. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for coming by. Is that a bike? I bet there's dialogue to read on that hill, but I'm going to ignore it for now. Um, have a good day tomorrow. <laughs> have a good day at work. <laughs> there's a plague on the tree. This ancient bark has stood here since the foundation of the town of Porcupine. Ninoslav Honoratus, the founder of Porcupine, planted it himself. 
He was known to misplace and lose things. No one can remember anything. Everyone loses stuff. I think this is a game for pigeon brains, literally. Everything in here touches that in some way. He reached this place after wandering for 100 days. He founded the town and built himself a house. And on the day he wanted to move in, he lost his keys. 40 days later, he found them on this very spot. Sounds like something I would do. Same here, Finley. Is this not a game for me, or what? <laughs> I'm assuming those signs are going to tell me that there's, I don't know, a bear ahead? I don't know. Are we anywhere closer to the hospital? Finally, St. Ursula Hospital. I'm ignoring a lot of these signs, y'all. I'm just ready to get there now. I feel like I already have cotton mouth and I just started streaming. Uh, we've been going for an hour, though. Let's, let's get some things done. All right, we are here in the hospital. Vending machine, a handy source of breakfast, or an end of shift reward. Of course, it's been broken ever since I started here. But hey, it's important to have constants in life. Still, I wouldn't say no to a chalk dog right now. Every morning they gleam through the glass laughing at me, just like they've been doing since before I was even born. And still will be long after I'm gone. They'll outlive us all. Thousands of years from now. Finley. Buddy. These deep thoughts are a lot. <laughs> These deep thoughts are a lot for almost 10 p.m. at night. Thousands of years from now, alien beings will dig up this vending machine. What was this machine's purpose? What primitive civilization created it? That's what they'll ask themselves. Perhaps with their advanced technology, they'll be able to actually get at that tasty treats. You've got a long way to go, vending machine. These deep thoughts. We did it again. We changed our fit. Behind the wall. We are now in our junior doctor attire. <gasps> How goes it? Morning, kiddo. So you're back, huh? Morning, Ingrid. Yes, my injury's healing up nicely now. I heard about your accident, of course. Everyone's heard about it. Everyone wants to know what happened up there on the fifth floor. Yeah, me too. You want to hear my theory? Um, do we want to hear hmm, Ingrid's theory? Does she ever leave her desk? All right, go on. This might sound a bit complicated, but the evidence speaks for itself. I've thought it through several times and it all makes sense. So what do you think? I've only known you for a few weeks now, but it must have something to do with you specifically. Really? What do you mean? Well, we have a name for that kind of thing here in Porcupine. A sophisticated technical term that aims to define the social and the anthropological characteristics of the phenomenon. What? Yeah, exactly. What? The term is... Klutz. Had to go get a snack. No worries, John. <laughs> She's basically saying we're a klutz. And that's why we had an accident in this little boo-boo on our forehead. Just kidding, kiddo. Haha. <laughs> How's Mr. Arndez? The old duster, d dusters, the old duffer's still alive, making himself cozy in his bed on your ward again. Phew, okay. I'm really glad to hear that. You've only been here a short while, but because of that night, people know you now. You're the boy who lived. Finley, the boy who lived, come to die. Are we going to die on the fifth floor, y'all? 
Is that what's gonna happen? <laughs> like Harry. Like Harry Potter. Look at that. So many references. They referenced, um, It, Pennywise earlier, Harry Potter here. I'm sure there will be others. Very funny. But seriously, people might still have questions for you. Just so you know, better be prepared. Anyways, my coffee's getting cold. And you need to swing your butt on over to your ward. On the third floor, in case the dent in your noggin caused more damage than we thought. I know where my ward is. That's good. Hop to it then. Before Dr. Krakowski rips your head off. You're right. I'll get going. See you later, Lachlan. Gotta get ready for bed. Got work tomorrow. Sigh. No worries. Thank you for coming in, Roy. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. Enjoy work tomorrow. Ugh. I don't know the unfortunate thing that is work until I find a new job. <laughs> Oh, we have... What? Hello? Oh, it won't let me look at those yet. Why won't it let me look at that? Oh, here we go. Um... Yeah, we read about her. Blah blah blah, he owns the bar. Hmm. We once got into an argument with someone called Ra Ralph. But I guess that's to be expected when you're the owner of a bar. Plus, he's actually pretty laid back. Okay, well. Let's go to the third floor. Use the elevator. We gotta go report to the doctor. Oh, this nurse is terrifying. The green eyes. My goodness. Do not heal me. Ah, oh, Finley. Half an hour early. That's refreshing. Just what I like to see. I'm early? Really? Of course not. You're horrifically late again. I don't subscribe to that. I'm not... I don't... I don't believe in being late. I'm just here. Let me guess, the bus didn't come? Yes, I'm sorry. The bus is unreliable, it cannot be trusted. Look at it, there's a scary nurse, she's hiding. <laughs> she, she knows she's scary, she just hid behind the doctor. Find a way to get here on time before we decide we cannot trust you, got it? Yes, got it, sorry Dr. Krakowski. If it's not too much trouble, we'll start our rounds in room 301. Should ask this when Fulia was here, but anyone gonna watch the new Haunted Mansion? I'm debating, John. Look at this scary nurse. You are terrifying. What are you, a bobcat? Hello? Hi, I'm back. Hello, Gubs. Um, is it, com is it coming out on Disney Plus, John? I don't know how I feel about it. I really, really, really... The Haunted Mansion is one of my favorite, favorite movies. I watch it every year around Halloween. The one specifically with Eddie Murphy. I know all of the songs that the headstone, like, um, the head busts, like, sing in the graveyard. I know all the songs in order. And I have to sing it every time I watch it. So I don't know how I feel about them redoing or doing a new version of The Haunted Mansion. So I don't know. I'm gonna wait. Theaters first. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. That is literally one of my favorite movies. Uh, so here's Miss Martin. Good morning. You're very late today. Tell me about it. <laughs> not, not the side eye, please. Miss Martin's in a hurry to get home. That's a good sign. But you still need some rest. Okay, Miss Martin came to us yesterday with pain in her upper abdomen. 
She was also complaining of heartburn, nausea, and loss of appetite. Yes, but the real reason was a sharp pain in the heart. I panicked and called the ER doctor. I was in so much pain, I could hardly move. That was exactly the right thing to do. Anyone have any ideas? Mia? Me? Well, come on, spit it out. And, uh, yes. Oh gosh. The pressure. Ulcer? A stomach ulcer? Is that a question or your answer? My answer. Very unsure. Bingo. The reason for the symptoms is a stomach ulcer. We still have to investigate the cause. So far, there's no indication of gastri gastritis or anything along those lines. Okay, Miss Martin. We'll probably keep you on here one more night. We'll check your readings again later. Just try to relax. Finley, you'll take care of Miss Martin's medication later. Let's continue in room 303. Chop chop. Look sharp. Oh, she are hurting. Okay, 303. The puzzles in this game also involve like helping people. Well, Larissa, how are we today? Quite okay, Doktorsky. It's good to hear that. Can you take a few deep breaths in and out for us? Like last night? That's right, careful. Oh no. Sorry, Dr. Krakowski. No problem, that was very, very good. How's it going? Do you want to tell the other doctors why you're here? Doktowski. Yes, I can do that, Dr. K. I think I'm just going to say Dr. K. <laughs> well, I was down at school with the others. <laughs> yeah, they said it wrong. <laughs> they said it wrong on, on purpose at first. How many names did they have? The leopard has uh, one name. It's Dr. Krakowski, but I'm going to say Dr. K because I'm already tired of saying it. There's so much dialogue in this game, y'all. Um, well, I was down at school with the others. We were at the back of the skate park. Oh, I can't skate that well. I just got the board for my birthday. But I definitely want to learn. My board is super cool. It has green wheels and the grip tape is all black and brand new. I've heard other skaters scratch their board up on purpose to make it look cooler. I don't get it. My board has a big picture of a robot on the bottom. <laughs> Need one of those docks for your island. Probably. It's way too cool. I don't want to scratch that up. He's proud of his little his little penny board or his skateboard, whatever he's got. Very good. But what were you on? Uh, what were you all doing down at school? Ah, well, um, it was like this. My buddy Christo stole some cigarettes from his stepdad. Ooh, it's a bad crowd. How old are these children? He said if you want to give me a good skater, you've got to smoke too. It's all part of the deal, he said. I really didn't want to, but I didn't want to be a chicken, you know? They forgot. Oh no, they forgot the eye and chicken. Oh no. I was still out of breath from practicing. He lit the cigarette and I took a drag. Super gross. I don't get why grown-ups seem to actually like those things. Anyway, I took a drag. Then all of a sudden, I couldn't breathe. I coughed and coughed, but couldn't get in the air. Then I passed out. Luckily, my friends called an ambulance quickly. So yeah, that's it, really. Thank you, Larissa. You explained it all very well. Oh, it's Larissa. Sorry, I forgot her name. Well then, care to share your opinions, my valued colleagues? Well, what do you think, Finley? Hmm... I know. Dr. K already told me. Don't give it away, Larissa. Oh, okay, sorry. Doktorsky, hee <laughs> hee. Asthma. It could have been an asthma attack. That's what I was gonna say, because I have asthma. I feel very seen right now. Yes, asthma. Sounds logical. Indeed, logical and correct. What a stroke of luck. 
This patient is a waste of hospital time. <laughs> Listen, McBeal. <laughs> Asthma sometimes takes you to the ER. I had to go to the ER a few times. Without the help of my assistant Larissa, you probably wouldn't have thought of it. Hee <laughs> hee. Good. Larissa, keep doing your breathing exercises, but don't overexert yourself. You got it, Dr. K. Okay, the last stop for today is room P33. Oh, and Finley? You already know this patient. It's Mr. Willie Arndez. I assume the name rings a bell. Mr. Arndez? Yes. He's a permanent guest on our ward. Mr. Arndez is an old timer. Even discounting his recent injuries, his head isn't the best of shape anymore, so act accordingly. Hmm, P33. I'm not sure where P33 is, so I'm gonna stick with the crowd. That scary nurse. Terrifying. Poor old, poor old man's. <laughs> he are old. We were dreaming about him earlier. Oh, P's on this side of the hospital? Okay. Hello? We were looking for him in our dream at the start of the game, so this is what he looks like. Everything will be just fine, Mr. Arndez. This matter is very important to me, and I'll ensure it's resolved quickly. You can rest assured of that. Ah, Dr. Krakowski, nice to see you. Good morning, Mr. Hydrick. To what do we owe the honor? Why, Mr. Arndez, of course. I heard he was on the mend. I have to say, I'm very relieved. The poor gentleman has been through a lot. This incident has been of great concern to us over the past few days, as you know. I know that, yes. I've been sweating blood myself. Ew. Graphic much? The whole thing is rather unseemly from an insurance perspective. But I was also very worried about our patient, of course. And let's not forget our junior doctor here. I hope you're back on your feet. Ready to throw yourself back into the fray? Yes, I'm doing very well. Thank you, Mr. H. It's great to have you back. Truly, I admire your dedication. It goes without saying that I don't blame you for the accident. Nobody at St. Ursula's does. <gasps> Are there people that blame Finley for the accident? Our pigeon-brained Finley? They better not. They best not. Ew, gubs. <laughs> Ew. Disgusting. St. <laughs> Ursula's itself is responsible for this accident. As such, we will be taking personal responsibility for the matter. I've arranged for Mr. Arndez to receive the very best treatment available. Blame Finley. Blame Finley? No. Sweat and blood over here. <laughs> I probably was sweating blood at the very start of the game, Govs, where you missed. It was, it was quite dramatic. There's a little scaly earlier. I've arranged for Mr. Arndez to receive the very best treatment available. That's why we've secured him a place in the best rehab clinic in the country. He'll be well looked after around the clock. The rest will also help with his age-related dementia. Aww, he has dementia. Speaking of which, I'm glad I bumped into you this morning, Dr. K. Oh, really? Yes, indeed. Would you do me a favor and assess Mr. Arndez's condition later today? If you can discharge him with a clear conscience, let me know. Then I'll arrange the transport right away. Understood. I'll take a look and let you know. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well then, I won't keep you any longer. All of our time is precious. Oh, and if you need extra hands on your team, I'll see what I can do. A healthy infrastructure is essential. That person is sh a straight insurance person. We don't want our staff overworking themselves and then calling in sick. Good luck. Here's to a successful day. Bye, Dr. H. Or Dr. H. Mr. H. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> anyways. Good morning, Mr. Arndez. You know my daughter looks exactly like you. Yes, yes. Well, isn't she the lucky one? How are you feeling today? 
I just told you, didn't I? I'm afraid that must have been before I got here, Mr. Arndez. Well, what are you doing here, then? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the dementia. <laughs> I'd like to find out how you're doing and take a look at your dressings. When's lunch today? Straight after this. Okay, then. Go ahead. Finley? Hmm? Yes. Mr. Arndez suffers from dementia, but is still relatively fit, as you can see. He injured his leg as a result of the aforementioned incident. He also suffered a moderate concussion. Finley, would you be so kind as to change Mr. Arndez's dressing? It's important to keep the dressings fresh. We can also take a look at the wound. You want me to change the dressings right now? You can ask Mr. Arndez if he wants to do it himself if you prefer. He can't be any worse as a <laughs> at it than you. Rude. Dr. K, rude. All right, I'm doing it. Goodness. All right, our first puzzle. Y'all ready for this? Good morning, Mr. Arndez. I'm very pleased to see you. Hmm, do I know you? Yes, maybe. There was an accident, do you remember? I want lasagna today, but hold the salad. That sounds delicious. I can't stand all those leaves. Mr. Arndez. Finley, what are you doing? Do you want me to bring you some tea and cake? All this stress has been hard on Mr. Arndez. Now let him rest and do your job. I just wanted to... Okay. No, not a, not a smart scan. Please, go away. Get out of here. Get out of here. Computer stuff. Treatment. Your patient is in your hands. Press and hold the button shown... Oh, press and hold the button shown on the screen to administer treatment. Make sure you only press the button shown on the screen, be as quick as possible, and don't release any of the buttons as long as they are displayed. <gasps> okay, my hand is gonna cramp. I remember playing this in the prologue and it is a little difficult. I'm using a pro controller, hopefully that will help me, but we shall see. If I look down, it's because I don't remember what button is what. Oh. When do I press them? <laughs> this is... That was hard. <laughs> that took all my brain power. Look at that, the dressing may be rather average, but I'm happy with the condition of the wound. I'll be back to you later to check your readings. Gosh, I could not do this. It's kind of hard, Gubs, because you have to hold it down and like every t especially when you have to like, I don't know if you could see my hands, you probably couldn't, but like I was like swapping, I had to use my left hand to do some of the right triggers over here. But there's a chance we'll be able to discharge you very soon. That would be nice. Doctor. No, no, I'm not a doctor, just an absent-minded old fool. Oh dear. Okay, we're done, Mia. Finley, come with me and I'll give you your tasks for today's shift. Gim crack, gimmer key, and bubblin' blubber. I'm sorry? <laughs> sure you are. Well, time for me to get back to work. My jam won't make itself, and I can't be late tonight. Get well soon, Mr. Arndez. I wish you the best of luck. Cozy to pro for reals. <laughs> okay, y'all. There is a game. I recorded a game earlier today. It will come out, I don't know if it'll come out Tuesday or Thursday this week. Um, probably Thursday. But it's a contender for Cozy to Pro. It's a contender. I didn't think it would be, but it, it is. This nurse is terrifying. Hello? You're scary. You're terrifying. Okay, what are my what are my duties today, Dr. K? There you are, back to full health. Yes, all good. I'm glad to be back. In that case, I look forward to a smooth shift. I'll activate today's tasks in your app. Oh, okay. The walls are crumbling, but they still find money for digitalization. I still don't believe in this electronic patient records. 
but Hydric and Theobald won't stop singing their praises. Hmm. We've done a test run and some updates, so all the wards have to use this app now. The data protection benefits are indisputable, but I haven't seen any evidence of it saving us time yet. Anyways, just open the patient app on your smartphone. Everything else should be self-explanatory. Can't wait to see it. I don't curse, luckily, when I played the game, because I don't think that would have been a good thing to do. <laughs> But I was very close. It was actually difficult. Very difficult. All right, downloading today's schedule. What are we doing? 301, 303, 304, all right. The file tells you who to treat and what they need. Child's play, really. Any questions? I don't think so. Then you have everything you need. Report back to me when you've completed today's tasks. And make sure you don't collect any more band-aids on your face by the end of your shift. Why? Why she gotta be rude? Like, come on. Leave us alone. I'll keep an eye on your work and evaluate it. Do try to make an effort. Listen. We will do it. 301. Let's go. Let's go? Who is this? Miss, um, Miss Martin or something, right? Hello. There you are again. Nice to see you again, Miss Martin. Look at that. Pigeon brain. I remembered a name. I'd rather we make it somewhere else next time. Yes, I prefer that too. How are you? Oh, you know. I've been a little restless lately. Sometimes it feels like I can't breathe properly. I have bad stomach pains. Homegirl's got IBS and same. Do you have heartburn? I always have heartburn. Had it for years. Pigeon brain who? <laughs> yes, a stomach ulcer is no joke. I've been through a lot of stress in the past few months. I've had a lot of arguments with my daughter, and my job's got me pulling my hair out. Same. Not with the daughter, but with the job. Oof. That's why I'm looking for a new one. I'm right there with you, Miss Martin. I'm glad I didn't get an ulcer. I'm very sorry to hear that. Do you think the ulcer is stress-related? Probably. Oh. <laughs> hmm, no, I don't think so. In fact, you're very unlikely to develop an ulcer. Oh. You're very unlikely to develop an ulcer just from stress. It's true that stress isn't good for the stomach. Are we going to learn some, like, WebMD-related stuff? Are we going to... Are we going to be educated? It's true that stress isn't good for the stomach, though, and it can give you heartburn. Can you do anything about it? It's lucky you came to see us so early. That's good. Last night's test show you had a bacterial pathogen in your stomach. Ugh. That's probably what's causing the ulcer. I'm going to start by prescribing you some medication. Whatever you think will help. All right, let's see. Medication, medication. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to take a quick... Stretch, hydrate, and chocolate-covered almond break before I get into this puzzle. Because I was hunched over just then, and I just realized it. So we need to prescribe the right medication. I read that as try to get all the patient's readings to their, to their opium levels, but it says optimum. I need to read. Using as little medication as possible. Each type of medication affects two different readings. Once you're satisfied with the medication you've chosen, sign the prescription. Okay. I'm no doctor, but here we go. Don't give your patients the wrong drugs. Listen, all this power is in my hands. Oh, do we need to get it to the levels? Okay, wait a minute. Um, lesson? 
Oh, I'm scared. Wait. This will lessen... Okay, oh, okay, I see, I see. This will lessen the blue, but add to the orange. This will add both. This lessens both. Let's do this. This, that, sign. Treatment complete. Ooh, we got an A. <laughs> we did it right. Wow. Wow, wow, we wow. That should have you feeling better in no time. Someone will come and give your medication before lunch. Until then, try to get some sleep. Yes, I should rest my eyes. I was up all night with pain. Get well soon, see you later. Thank you, and good night. <laughs> Whew. Good jorb is right. <gasps> Let's go visit our little skateboard buddy. In 303. What do we think we're gonna do to the asthma patient? Uh, Larissa, is that her name? Hey, Doc. What's your name? Hey, Larissa. Did it again, y'all. I'm Finley. I'll be examining you over the next few days, okay? Nothing to worry about. Okay, whatever you say. I like to listen to your lungs. You mean you want to put that freezing cold thing on my chest? I'm afraid so, but don't worry, it's not that cold. I don't know. It, they are pretty cold, though, Larissa. Actually, I guess it is a bit cold most of the time, but it's only... But it'll only be for a moment. You think you can manage that? Hmm, yes. Okay. Shall we get started? Yeah, let's do it. Let's just do it. Come on. <laughs> Take up thy stethoscope. Jumping hearts, rattling lungs. Press the button shown on the screen at the right moment. Hold L when a button appears on the top or bottom line. Top or bottom line. Okay. Oh. What? Hello? What is happening? Why am I not? Oh, I have to go down. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'm a freaking idiot. <laughs> I'm supposed to move. <laughs> I'm supposed to move the stick. And I didn't. What? I kept pressing this. I kept pushing it in like a button instead of going up and down like a dummy. <laughs> like a dummy. <laughs> well, <laughs> I gotta see. <laughs> Can I redo? Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> that really was only cold for a second. What did you hear? Nothing too bad, but there was a faint rattle. A rattle? Like the musical instrument? Yeah, kind of. That was basically a... <laughs> Somebody has a motorcycle in the back. Sorry. Um, that was basically a, uh, uh, what do you call it? A rhythm game and I failed. I failed! I used to play one of those in my school orchestra, but I didn't swallow it, I promise. Actually, I think it's your body that's rattling. Is that bad? I'm just gonna say, have you heard? <laughs> Larissa got bronchitis, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> have you heard of asthma, Larissa? Yes, I've heard of it. That sounds bad, can you die from it? Do you think I have asthma? Will I die from it? No, don't worry. If It could be asthma, but we're running some more tests. And if it is asthma, then there's nothing to be afraid of. I have asthma, Larissa, it's fine. 
We promise. Try to make yourself as comfy as possible. I'll check on you again tomorrow, okay? Sure thing. All right, let's let's not get a C again, okay? <laughs> let 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 me just say those instructions. It said press, so I was pressing this like a button, not going up and down. It said press. The instructions should have been a little bit more clear. <laughs> It's not my fault. This next one has an icon of scissors and that terrifies me. Oh boy. Good morning, Miss Helmig. You've just had thyroid surgery, right? Okay, we haven't met her yet. I was like, I don't remember her name. How are you today? I'm very thirsty. Talking and swallowing are difficult. That's very understandable. Please take it easy then. Drinking can be a little tricky when you've just had surgery, but once the wound has healed a bit and the swelling has gone down, it'll be fine. You'll be on your feet again in no time. That would be nice. I'd hate to have to spend the last good days of the year stuck in here. We'll make sure it doesn't come to that. I'll change your dressings and take a quick look at your sutures. Sutures. Oh boy. Y'all, I'm using two hands. I'm using... I'm doing it. Ugh. This is hard. Oh crap. How... Jesus Christ. <laughs> I got a B. That's better than a C. It's better than a C. I was accidentally holding down B and Y at the same time. That's like twister for your hands. That is difficult. Looking good so far. Everything seems to be alright. Try to talk as little as possible and drink a lot. Speaking of, let's hydrate. All right, we took care of three patients. We got an A, a C, and a B. Not too terrible, could be better, but not too terrible. Um, I think we accomplished everything we needed today. What else, what other notes do we have? Oh yeah, the insurance dude. We finished our tasks though. So let's see what Dr. K has for us. All done, Dr. K? Good, good. How was it? Pretty good, I think. All right, let's see. Don't judge us on the second one, please. We got a B overall. We got a B overall. I think that's fair. I think I will take it. That is, if th this is like a Lockleth report card if I've ever seen one. I would make A's occasionally, B's a lot of the times, sometimes C's, sometimes D's. So this is a very true to form on my grades in school. <laughs> Ugh. We got a B? It's fine. Average performance. That's unfortunate. Listen, it's just under an A. It's a high B, okay? It's fine. I advise you to stick at it and improve your work. Watch, listen, and most importantly, gain practical experience. I'll continue to monitor your progress. Who knows? You may still surprise me yet. Nice job. You only killed- I did not, McBeal. This is why- This is why we have this in the chat. This is why we have this, McBeal. For you. For those comments. I don't even feel bad. I didn't kill anyone. They're fine. Gonna take care of the garbage, no worries, Gubs. Be safe out there. I have another task for you. <laughs> I'm giving you the opportunity to save me some time and get to the, know the hospital a little better. What can I do? I need you to go to the lab in the basement. Oh no. They're sending me to the basement, y'all. Just keep following the stairs until you get to the bottom. The door's on the right. Sorry, sorry. Almost killed. Yeah, McBeal. Almost. 
the first one we got an A on, and that one was involving medications. Let me remind you, McBeal. The first one involved medications, and we got an A. We did that one perfectly. The second one, I wasn't paying attention. The instructions were not clear. And we got a C. But that involved... That involved a stethoscope. Very... There's no way I could have messed, like, killed somebody. And the third one, we got a B, so we're fine. <laughs> Welcome back, John. Um, let's go to the basement, I guess. I've sent some blood samples to Dr. Halil. Halil. And I need the results. Can you manage that without injuring yourself? As long as the stairs don't collapse underneath me, I should be okay. Well, let's all keep our fingers crossed. Off you go. I need those results today. Lab. Basement. Dr. Halil. Got it. That is the exact way for me to remember something, y'all. Is I have to put it into simple, like, one word, two word statements. Back to back to back. And I have to say them, like, over and over again for me to remember stuff. So, lab. Basement. Dr. Halil. Let's, uh, let's avoid the elevator. Let's just go to the stairs. And hope we don't fall. Oh wait, we went the wrong way. There's a sign right here that shows you the stairs are this way and I went the wrong way. Wow. Wow. They're right here. Now, does it take us down one level? Or several? Ah, here we go. Now, is this the first floor, zero, zero, or basement? I would think one is first floor and zero is basement, but I don't think that's the case. I think I had to go down one more. Mm hmm. Hello? It better not be scary down here. Locked. Hello? Hello? See that red light above the door? That what? Uh, yes, I see it. Good, good. Excellent. Well then. So, I'm here to... You see the red light, don't you? Yes, I see the red light. A red light usually means something like very busy. Usually means like live on the air. Which, this is a live stream, so. Prohibited, negative, no access, or simply no. But I mean, <laughs> but I need the blood results urgently for Dr. K. You like this person? You would. You freaking would. <laughs> Dr. K, is it? I see. That... <laughs> Now that's a horse of a different color. <laughs> that does alter the parameters somewhat. Do you want to see a magic trick? I'm not sure. Yes, yes, of course you do. Pay attention. Ta-da! Great. You turn the light to green. Wonderful, isn't it? And I haven't even stood up yet. Can I go in now? What do you think? You see a green light, don't you? McBeal, you and this person would get along so well. Goodness gracious. Please. Dr. Halil needs to figure it out. Hello? Uh, you would be a freaking mole. You would be a mole. McBeal, it's a mole. All right, here I am. Whoa. What are you doing here? I was outside the door. I was just talking to you. 
Fascinating. And? Moles are awesome? No, they're not. They're gross. They're gross. And what? The light. Was it green? Yes, it was green. Excellent. Look, I need the blood results that Dr. K asked you for. Ah, indeed, indeed. So why are you wasting our time chatting? Follow me. I think I have your results around, around here somewhere. Dr. Halil is testing my patients. Are they here? Now, where were we? Ah, yes. The documents you requested should be here. You keep your documents in the blood refrigerator? Of course, saves time when matching them to the samples. I'm a great believer in shortcuts, you know. The day becomes so much more efficient if one reduces the distances between A and B. My system is simple. It cuts down on sorting and filing work, too. And now you, too, can benefit from the fruits of my diligence. Isn't that nice? Well, if that's all, can you just hand me the samples? Oh no! Oh horror! What a mishap! That bang made my heart jump. My whole system. I... Let me just put things right and it'll be all right again in no time. Oh, woe is me. Can I help you? What do you mean? You want to help me? That makes me very uncomfortable. Oh, that happens. Let's see. Just a minute. Why do the samples have different colored lids? That, my dear doctor, is my sorting system. It looks complicated. On the contrary, it's as, simp it's as easy as pie. Each sample has a sticker on the lid. Each sticker has four different colors on it. Some of the samples fell out due to the accident. Others have gotten turned around so they're not facing the right way. You need to turn the samples around. Okay, is this another puzzle? You need to turn the samples around until all the same colors are facing each other. When four samples are positioned correctly, they'll make a single colored square. Okay. Once all the samples are facing the right way, you'll be able to see where the samples that fell out, uh, where, they, where, where they slot back in. It's quite simple. Um, sure. We got it. Sure. You're very smart. All right, let's do it. Let's just do it. Come on. Stop talking about it. Let's go. What a disaster. The samples got mixed up, but you can fix this. Use L and R to rotate. A flask is in the correct position when the colors of all four segments match with the segments of the adjacent bottles to form a square. Use A and B to move flasks that fell out. Oh boy. No, you can't have these, Luna. Not for puppies. Mm mm. All right, L and, L and R to rotate, A and B to move flasks. Let's see if we can do this correctly. What? Oh, oh, oh. I am kind of confused by this. Hello? Oh, we have A and B too? Ah! I see. Okay. 
I just had to move that one more. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Um, let's see. These all need to be yellow. We need another yellow here. And we have four that need to be replaced. Um, let's grab... Oh, they all have green. Can do orange. Oh, look at that. Blue, yellow, orange. Maybe do this one in yellow. Purple, yellow. I'm just guessing. Um, this one needs to be green. Green. <clears throat> Maybe red. No, this needs to be red. Red, green. I've been listening because Louie has been at my feet since coming back for a walk, carrying his stuffed dinosaur, so I got roped into playing fetch. Well, isn't that adorable, Gubs? I um, am trying to figure this out. Gr okay, so we think, I'm thinking. Bottom left is green. Top left is red. Um, that would make this top right yellow and then blue. So do we have a piece that matches that? Um, green, red, yellow, blue. Green, red, yellow, blue. I think this one needs to go here. Yes, perfect. A yellow one needs to go here. It needs to be yellow and green. Which this is the only one that has both of those. This looks confusing. The way they explained it sounds confusing. This one's red. This one's blue. This one's pink. Um, this one is blue. That one's red. Orange. And red. Okay, we're getting close. Um, let's see. We need bottom left. Gr uh... No, I only need to worry about two slices, so we need green and red. Green and red, so we need this one. Boom. Don't let down, Mr. Mole. Look at that. We didn't do- we didn't let him down, McBeal. Just for you. You see? Fantastic, isn't it? My system is <laughs> infallible. Thank you for your efforts. I better get back to my work. That is some big brain <laughs> puzzling. Um, Dr. Halil, was there something else? The results for Dr. K? Oh, right, right, Dr. K. Why didn't you say? You know, I'm always happy to help, but I only have 24 hours in my day. Here you are. With my flawless system, I always have everything to hand. Enjoy, and please don't forget to close the door behind you. One needs to hear oneself think, don't you know? Oh boy. Okay, back up the stairs. Let's take the elevator this time. Maybe save some time. That was a lot faster than taking the stairs. Yes, here is the blood results. And why did it take so long? Did the bus to the lab not turn up? No, I had to help Dr. Halil sort his samples. You had to help him? Yes, I... Do you see Dr. H here tending to the patients on the third floor? Listen, you weren't there. The puzzle was difficult. No, you don't, because that's not his job. St. Ursula's is a finely tuned machine. If one cog fails, everything grinds to a halt. Call it a day and take some rest. Maybe you'll feel a bit more up to speed tomorrow. See you tomorrow morning, right on time, for the start of the shift. And try to concentrate a bit more when administering your treatments. Got it. Have a nice evening, Dr. K. Yeah, every single person in this game has been sassy. 
I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it, but let's get out of here. Let's, uh, let's take the elevator, first floor. Mm-mm-mm. Let's head home. See ya, Ingrid. Change back into our normal attire. Let's head to the house. My goodness. So this is a little different than the prologue, but I had I had to do um, a lot of those puzzles in the prologue, so anybody can play the demo, so y'all could play along. And I'm assuming the bus is not working. <laughs> so we're just gonna go home in the dark, because that is very, very safe. Hello. This evening, isn't it lovely? The warm air that still has a little bit of summer left in it. The golden fall sun is slowly going to sleep. Ah, how wonderful. Gotta head out, have a good night. No worries, John, thank you for coming in. Have a good one. I feel the need to say something profound. Think I'll resist the urge. Yeah, you've said enough profound things today, Finley, please. Save us the trouble. If I had work colleagues like that, I'd be straight down to the turtle pub. I kind of want to get up to the point in the game where they do go to the pub. Because that was kind of exciting. I think that's tomorrow, but we'll see. Walking home alone at night. Now that, now this is male privilege. Yes. <laughs> Finley has no idea. I will say he's got that injury, that little that little boo boo on his forehead. So he's he's been through some things. Welcome in, Seth. <laughs> he's been through some things, Seth. He's seen things. What do you want, Pip Squeak? Come on, can somebody please just be nice to me? One of the one of that little busybody's pals. You mean Carl? Yeah, that's the one. He needs to keep away from me. Tell him that from me. Okay. We've got business with the pub there. Rude. Seth, you played this, didn't you? I'm pretty sure you have. Did you only play, like, the prologue? I did play the prologue, the demo, on PlayStation. Um, but I got this code through the, um, through the publishers, and so I'm able to actually play the full game. But I did start it from the beginning, so we did, we did, we're still in the prologue phase, I guess. Yeah, you did? Okay. We just got through day one, um, of our shift. We attended three patients. We got an A on the first one, a C on the second one because I can't read, and a B on the third one, and so we got an average of a B. Oh, is this our house? I almost passed it. Um, yeah, off to bed. Good night, world. Now, I got a couple hours in, enjoyed it. I do want to go back to it. Yeah, I just, I don't know if I'm going to, it depends on how f I get along in tonight's stream. Um, I might add this to the docket of games outside of of games outside of Animal Crossing. What are we doing this little jig for? Are we like are we are we like a cat with our claws? What is happening? Go. Good. More. Ning. I'm alert. I'm up for it. I can do anything. I'm on top of the world. Look at these. Look at these morning <laughs> good thoughts and feelings out into the world. Cool dance. 
you know, just pigeon brains doing pigeon stuff. <laughs> That's what I would say right now if I were the kind of guy, oh my god, here we go. If I were the kind of guy who cheers himself on in the mirror every morning. Pigeon, aff pigeon affirmations, yes. Seth, I think that's you. Clearly, this pigeon is trying, but he's, he just said that's not who he is. P Seth, is that you in the morning? <laughs> do you do that? Luckily, I'm not that kind of guy. And luckily, I don't have a mirror. That would be uncomfy for everyone involved. I was a little uncomfy with those uh, dance moves. Yeah, relatable. <laughs> but at least I got out of bed on time today. That's a huge success by itself, if you ask me. And I've got rid of that awful band-aid, too. Almost seven years of studying medicine, and I can finally take a band-aid off without it hurting. Maybe I do have what it takes. All right, enough, enough chit-chat. Let's get... We can't be late. We were late for work yesterday. Because we were dawdling around. Oh, hello! Hey, morning there. Spare a few cents, my friend? Sure thing. Here you go. Aw, thank you. New kid in town, huh? Haven't seen you here before. Yes, I moved here a few weeks ago. Oh, not that new then. Guess we just work uh, different schedules, but put it this way, if you're the kind of guy who likes a shrewd investment, I'm sure I'll be seeing you again soon. You have a productive day now. Oh, what do we have? This is why he will never be on time, because I, I get distracted. He doesn't seem to have a place to, say, to stay. Alfio, cute. I like walruses. There's that bike again. Still, no one has claimed it. I'm gonna assume the bus stop is not working. So we're just gonna run straight to the hospital. After I talk to this horse. Yo! <laughs> you live across the street from here, right? Yeah, that's right. Can I help you? Are you the guy who always stuffs his garbage can full of yogurt cups? Where is Sean Capri? <laughs> Where you at? Where you at? Garbage man has beef with you. Garbage man has beef. Hey, it's Sean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All those yogurt cups? Quit stuffing your bin full of yogurt cups. What's the statute of limitations up on that bike? It's he Finley said earlier. That if it's still there in the winter, then he's going to take it home and fix it. So, if it's there... No, sorry, I never even eat yogurt. Be glad I'm on the warpath. Every round I make, I come across this one garbage can stuffed to the brim with yogurt cups. And as if that wasn't absurd enough, most of them are still half full. So I'm trying to somehow get this mountain of yogurt cups in the truck. And all the half full cups come tumbling down on my head. Now I need to get a bus home and take a shower. I'll never get rid of that cherry peach and vanilla smell otherwise. <laughs> so is the bus running again? Yeah, I took it to work earlier. I'm not the world's greatest cyclist, so I'm actually pretty reliant on the bus. Do you know when the bus is coming? Any moment now, I think. Where do you need to get to? St. Ursula's Hospital? Oh, you're one of those folks. Your garbage cans are in a, in a class of their own. I was at St. Ursula's earlier this year. Slipped disc. Do you know a Dr. Gatera? Dr. Um, Gatera. I think I've heard the name before, but I haven't met him yet. I haven't been there long. Right, anyways, Dr. G. I'm just... I'm, it, sometimes these names. I'm just gonna say the initial. Anyways, Dr. G's a good guy. Showed me some exercises. It's been better since then. Cool. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> if you see him, tell him Matheo says hi. Will do. Are you taking the bus? 
I, I'm just gonna walk. I get it. The weather's still nice and the exercise will do you good. Okay, we don't have time. But let me check my note because I hate having notifications on my phone. Uh, <laughs> into dairy when he facts. He works the garbage disposal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Let's take the low road this time. Excuse me? Hmm? Yes? Do you know what's going on here? Why is the line so long? Haven't you heard? They're saying today is going to be the last warm day of the year. That means the ice cream shop's closing. It won't open again until spring. Can we just get to work? They always have great deals on the last day of the year. We don't want to miss it. Who knows how long we'll have to wait before we can get delicious ice cream again. So that road is closed, I assume. I just want to get to the hospital. I'm important. I'm a junior doctor. I don't have my scrubs on yet. Oh, a crow or a raven? It's interesting, it lets me talk to certain people, but not everyone. I refrained from talking to the crow, even though I was very tempted. We don't have time to talk to any of these people. There's a beaver staring at the porcupine statue. We're not supposed to be late for work, but I have a feeling... I have a feeling we're late again today. There's no clock, so I really don't know. But I have stopped a few times. One forced me to stop. The other two were on my own accord, so... Whoops. Another bike, Seth. Another bike. Who throws away their bike? Or a vending machine? Back at university, I just left things in front of the door. When I turned around, they were gone. Simple. The vending machine's actually full, too. And what's in it? Chalk dogs. Of course. <laughs> this is too much. Not gonna read about the tree again. We know about it. We know about it. Hello? Maybe we should have taken the bus. It's taking forever. <coughs> Sprinkler is constantly going. Alright, are we gonna get reprimanded for being late? Are we late? We stopped a few times. We didn't take the bus. Alright, changing clothes in three, two, one. Magic. Can't, can't stop, can't stop, cannot talk to Ingrid. We cannot talk to Ingrid. I'm assuming we're supposed to go back to the third floor. Ah, oh, hello. Good morning. Nice of you to turn up before sunset, please. Just give me my duties. And let's get to it, please. I do not have my file. Why don't I have my file? Well, let's deal with that right away. Some of the beds have already been reassigned. Your tasks for today have been activated in your app. Okay. Alright. What are today's tasks? What do we got? Um, P31, 301, 303. We've got our hands full, so let's not waste any time. Among other things, we're looking after an old friend of mine today. Okay, she must be, yeah, P31. Please make sure she's looked after, but don't lose sight of your other responsibilities, okay? As always, I want to see impeccable results. Low-key wouldn't want to work here. Me neither, Gubs. Everyone, everyone you talk to is, like, sassy. And then 
And Dr. K here is just a lot. Who needs a real job? I, I have this. <laughs> I have this game. Um, I'm gonna save P31 for last. Let's do the medication first because I know I can do this and make an A. So let's do it. Miss Martin, I'm here. How are you feeling? I was up all night worrying again. I was thinking about my daughter, our argument. I feel like we can apply to work at a hospital now. Yes, Seth. <laughs> do you know I'm a junior doctor in Ursula Hospital? Have you heard of it? I'm a junior doctor. I wear a white coat. I'm the same when I can't sleep. I spend the whole night turning problems over in my mind. I should add that to my special skills on my resume. <laughs> Is your stomach any better at least? My stomach? Now you mention it. It is feeling better. That's good to hear. I think you should watch this VOD. My resume speaks for itself. Look at here. I made an A. Ignore the second one where I made a C. And then I made a B. I averaged a B as a junior doctor in a hospital. Come on. Come on. Your trouble sleeping could be a side effect of your medication. I'll make some adjust uh, adjustments to your dosage. Okay. We know how to do this one. Um, we just got to do it in the right order. Okay, almond break. Almond break. So we have, t we can do it four times. The green needs to go down. Interesting. Okay. The orange needs to go up and the blue needs to go down. So we can do this one. But to put the orange... Hmm. How are we going to solve this one? There's no... Oh, can I use the same one twice, I wonder? Do this one twice, this one once, this one once. Let's try it. Heck yes, we did it. A. Yes, new drugs to help you sleep. We'll get that stomach ulcer under control. But to keep it that way, you need to avoid stress. That's easier said than done. I know. No, I'm glad you said that. Maybe that's what I needed to hear. I've known it for a long time, but now I really do need to look after myself now. But how? This pill, we gave her four pills, not just one. These pills you're about to take will send you to sleep for a little while. I'm sure you'll come up with new ideas and a fresh, fresh, perspective when you wake up. Thanks, doctor. All right, let's move on to uh, Larissa, our little asthma piggy patient. Or app, as I like to call her. Dude, I wish they just knocked you out when you had a stomach ulcer. Have you had one before? I've never had one, Seth. Never had one. Can't relate. Where do I lodge my complaints? What complaints do you have, Sean Capri? What complaints do you have? Welcome in. Hello. Did a little birdie tell you something? What's happening? I'm helping patients. I don't know why you're so aggr aggro coming in here. Do you have yogurt on hand, perhaps? I may have sent him a clip in our group chat. <laughs> 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 
I don't need that negativity. It's not me who has beef, Sean. It's the garbage guy. You need to stop stuffing your bin full of half-eaten yogurts. No, I'm not McBeal. I am not. And just for that, I'm doing this again. <laughs> no. I'm not killing more patients. I'm saving lives. Okay? I'm an angel on earth. Our patient is just bored to death, but not really dead, okay? She's just being dramatic. I could barely sleep last night. Yeah, I get it. The nights can be long when you're in a hospital. Ain't that the truth? How's the cough? Much better. That's what I want to hear. Wait, did you kill someone on that? No, I did not, Seth. I did not. McBeal is lying. On day one, I had three patients, okay? The first patient is the patient we just saw. I fixed her dosage. I got an A, so I did it correctly. The second patient was this one, Larissa. She has asthma, and so I had to use a stethoscope. She's got asthma, okay? There's no way to mess it up. <laughs> I was going to say that would be wild. Um, so I had to use a, a stethoscope. But I misread the instructions. The instructions weren't clear. They were not clear. And I hit the... I was not hitting the correct buttons. And I got a C on the treatment with Larissa yesterday. And McBeal said I killed her. But she's right here. She's fine. She's fine. It's fine. Everyone chill. It's fine. Let's look at her lungs. Don't you mean listen? What? You're just gonna listen to my lungs, right? Or are you gonna cut me open? I don't want people looking at my lungs. Oh, right. Sorry, just a turn of phrase. I'll only be listening to your lungs, don't worry. Phew. Alright. I know what to do this time. I know what to do. I'm gonna get an A. Don't ask me how I messed this up yesterday. But I did. Hey, I redeemed myself. I got an A, McBeal. Is this the demo or the full game? I want to try it out so bad. This is the full game, Artsy. This is the full game. Also, welcome in. Oh, I did not... Not me spelling your name wrong, please. So embarrassing. Not Arts... Arsty. Artsy. If y'all weren't aware, go follow my pal Artsy Gamer. They also do YouTube content. They play Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you're a fan, go follow them over there. Oh goodness, how do you how do you like it? I do like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, Ar Arsty. <laughs> That's your new name, Arsty. I just mess up everyone's names. If my doctor treated me with a a grade, <laughs> wait a minute, I'm dying. Hang on. <laughs> with a grade C, I'd, sh I'd sue for medical malpractice. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me get some more water. Hold. Hold. <laughs> I'm like crying. Hold, hold, hold. <laughs> Not me choking. Hold, please. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I like breathed in 
a little bit of like the there's like um i'm eating chocolate covered oh sorry i'm eating chocolate covered almonds and they have like a coating of like cocoa powder and i breathed in a little of the powder and it went down my lungs and it made me cough oh my god i'm good i'm good <laughs> I, but I ran out of water, so I couldn't, like, wash it down. We're good now. We're good now. You give follow. Thank you, Gubs. Everyone needs to follow Artsy. Or Arsty. <laughs> I think you're the one who needs treatment. Yeah. Yeah. The patient Lachlan never thought she'd kill his herself. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> How are you, aside from dying from cocoa powder overdose? I'm great, Arsty. <laughs> I'm great. <laughs> yes, this is the full game. This is the full game. You love Arsty right now? I, I do that all the time. Um, there was a, a person in here earlier. I don't know if they're still here or not. I think they might have left. Um, but I, I combined their first and last name. Their name is Roy. Uh, I almost did it again. Their name is Ron. And then I combined their first name and their last name in the chat, and I just called them Roy. And so they're just, from now on, they're just Roy. And you're arsty. Because <laughs> I can't type. I have issues. But I'm also a junior doctor and also a pigeon, so, like, who, are we surprised? Oh my gosh. I'm doing great. <laughs> This is more than the demo. This is this is the actual full game. So big thanks to the publishers and them for providing me a code to play this, luckily. Um, but I've been dying to play because I did play the demo prologue. Um, everyone can play it on PlayStation or on Switch. You can play the demo. But this game came out like a month ago. A little over a month ago, actually. So it's out there now. I'm not sure how much it is, but... After I played the demo and, like, it left you on, like, a cliffhanger at the end, I had to get the game in some way. And so, luckily, they gave me the code, so I'm very grateful for that. So, yeah, this is the full game, but I'm still kind of in the early parts of it, so if you played the prologue, you're not going to be spoiled, I don't think. But this is so fun, so fun. We're on day two with our patients. We've dealt with two of them. We've got one more. Um, Larissa, poor little R Larissa here has asthma. Uh, your lungs haven't quite recovered full yet. My lungs haven't recovered. Isn't that bad? No, nothing to worry about. Gubs, Larissa might have bronchitis. If her, if her lungs aren't getting better, the art is gorgeous. It really is, and the music is really nice too. Um, I haven't played Night in the Woods, but it kind of reminds me of that a little bit, too, with the art. I think if you stay in bed all day and take it easy, we can send you home tomorrow. I told you. <laughs> she, she might have bronchitis, Gubs. You might be right. Is everything okay? Yeah, I guess. I just wish I could have gone home today. I get that. But believe me, it's better if we keep you in just for one more day. Yeah, maybe you're right. Can we go now? Doc, can I tell you something? Oh no. Yeah, this game is very night in the woods. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for bronchitis. Asthma? We have time. Bronchitis? We do not. Sure, what is it? My cough was pretty bad last night. It kept me up all night. And it hurt a lot too. Oh no. It's good that you told me that, Larissa. You know, you can tell me anything, right? Believe me, I want to get you out of here as soon as possible. Okay, Doc. Thanks. Any tips for how to kill time around here? We have a TV in the break room. If you feel like it, you can sit down there. Make yourself comfy. We've got tea and coffee, too. Ugh, coffee. That stuff's so bitter. Larissa. Coffee is delicious. Leave it alone. But I'll take a look later. Thanks. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything, okay? Just one more day, we can do it. Yeah, hee hee. Hee hee. P31. P32 Wallaby Way, Sydney? Is that the address? Let her die for that? No, McBeal. No one will 
pass away on, <laughs> no, no, pull the plug. No one will pass away on my watch. Not here. Not on purpose. Oh, it's the guy at the pub. Giuliano. Giuliano. What are you doing here? Finley, my friend. I brought my mother here. Oh, that's his mom. May I introduce her? This is my mother, Irma. Irma is such a mom name. Good morning. Hello there. She collapsed on the sidewalk. Must have fainted or something. It's the first time this kind of thing's happened to her. So I figured we better get a specialist to check her out. All right, I'll take a look. You hear that, Ma? Finley, Ma? <laughs> Finley hasn't lived in Porcupine long, but I know him. I know him. He's a good kid and a great doctor. Well, aren't I the lucky one? Is there anything else I can do, Finley? Can you tell me anything else about what happened this morning? Oh yeah, um, let's see. Me and Ma went to meet up for breakfast. She went to enjoy the sunny morning and go for a walk. She said it might be the last sunny day of the year. It's not far, but she seemed very tired when I saw her. We didn't even have time to say hello properly before her legs gave way. Her legs? She couldn't stop coughing. So we came straight here. Coughing? Shame, I was looking forward to that breakfast. I was really craving French toast with applesauce. Is applesauce on top of French toast? The last sunny day of the year sounds wonderful. The sun is vile. It is vile. Seth. South USA. Seth and I are dying down here. It is hot. Team French toast? No. Team waffles. Team waffles. Not team French toast. Please. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna do a poll. What's your fave? Waffles? Duh. Pancakes? Maybe. Or French toast? Eh. Y'all tell me. I'm waffles. Just so you know, I'm waffles. But I want to hear what y'all think. Yeah, Korea is humid and just gross right now. Ugh, it's the worst. Gubs, French toast, really? Really? Can I vote on my own? <laughs> Can I vote on my own poll? No one is voting waffles. What is this? No one? I get no waffle votes. <laughs> I can't vote on my own poll. About to end this poll. This is stupid. <laughs> this is the dumbest idea. Four votes so far. French toast is unfortunately winning. Commit this to memory. No, this... <laughs> No respect. Waffles is just like cake batter. Same with pancakes. French toast is superior. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. French toast is bread and eggs. And cinnamon. No. Give me waffles or give me death. Waffles have individual little holders for syrup. It holds, it holds the syrup in. It soaks it in. You know who loves waffles, Patty? Get out of my chat, Gubs. Get, get out of here. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Patty is a cow patty and a beef patty. She has no vote or say in this chat. You can you do not speak for Patty. She is gone. She's off of my island. She is out of my life. Quit bringing up that 
sour word. I should add it as a uh, as a bad as a bad word in the chat so you get timed out when you say patty. I'm ending this poll. <laughs> I'm ending this poll. I don't agree. I don't agree. Waffles should have at least got some percentage. I'm disappointed. Disappointed. I am dis- I'm disappointed. Gubs, you specifically with your patty comment. Get out of here. Get out of here. Cruel. No. You know what? Get out of here. <laughs> Not even one vote. Shut up, Seth. <laughs> Shut up. I I can't vote for my own. If I could have voted for my own poll, I would have voted for, for waffles, but it wouldn't let me. <laughs> the people have not spoken. <laughs> I hate it here. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I don't like it. This is the worst. Y'all are the worst. <laughs> Ugh. Let me get back to saving people. Okay, you know what? Let me get back to saving people. Y'all just stay over there in your little French toast land. Let, let the important waffle people do important doctor duties, okay? We just held a mini splat fest right now and it fell. feels pretty good. It's okay to be wrong. No, it's not. Ar not no, it's not, Arsty. It's not. It's not. Ugh. Your team toast. <sighs> that you're the only important waffle. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> McBeal, that's for you. <laughs> That's for you. I've used that four times tonight for you, mister. <laughs> Let's round it up to, a, to an even five, why don't we? Mm-mm-mm. Let me just, let me go back to saving lives, okay? Let me, can we, can we save lives? Can we save lives today? Can you just, let me save lives. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even read. <laughs> Let's take a look at Irma. Giuliano is going to go back to Gilbert's. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, is she part of the pub too? Interesting. Okay. De Calma. How are you feeling today? I'm still salty, y'all. Don't think I... I will not forget this moment. Please call me Irma. I'm not one to stand on ceremony. All right, Irma. I'm Finley. That's a nice name. So how are you feeling? My lungs hurt more than I've ever felt before. That happens sometimes. Can you tell me again what happened? I was on my way to see my son, Giuliano. I hope you don't forget. This has been my fave moment of my week. It's not our fault you like mediocre options. I can't spell. I can't spell. I can't spell. Took me three backspaces to type that. But there. You're at an even five now, McBeal. Mediocre options. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm here to treat Irma. It's all about Irma. It's not about you, McBeal. The worst part is when I tried to say I liked all of them on the Nintendo Drive, you wouldn't allow that either. No, you must pick a side, but it must not be anything but waffles, okay? <laughs> Back to helping Irma, okay? Irma. It felt like the last day of summer, even though I can already smell the fall. Can you smell it too? I wish, 
I wish it was fall, y'all. I wish it was fall. The trees are turning beautiful colors. After a few meters, my breathing got very heavy. Such a waste of the beautiful fall air. I couldn't really enjoy it. My breathing got faster and faster. I just reached the marketplace when I started feeling very dizzy. I felt sick. My legs gave way and I fell down onto the sidewalk. It made an awful racket. Oh, I hope her hip is okay. The window shook in all the houses. I see. That reminds me of a great story, but maybe that can wait for another day. I'd rather, I'm rather exhausted. All right, Irma. I'll let you get some rest, but I'd like to make a few more notes on the diagnosis, of course. The sooner we find a solution, the sooner I can hold. I hate it here. I hate it here. I'll make French toast tomorrow morning and send you some pics. I want to make French toast now. You know what I don't want to make right now? Waffles. Shut up, McBeal. <laughs> I hate it here. Look at the disease that y'all have caused. Look at the disease. I'm just, I, I don't, I, I, disease. I hope y'all are happy. I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. <laughs> she had enough. I did. I had enough. <laughs> Another disease you can't fix? Big Beal! Get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> Gon' get. That should be seven. Luckily, you're only to six, but that should be seven. I refrained from using it a sixth time earlier. <sighs> uh, I don't even know if I want to treat this patient now. Fine. Got to treat the patient. The, the French toast lover patient who has diseased poor Finley into loving it as well. And for what? My pain and suffering, that's for what? Find the correct combination of symbols. A blue mark indicates that you've got the right symbol, but in the wrong position. A green mark indicates that you've got the right symbol in the correct position. Each symbol will only appear blah 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 once per combo. For content. For content. Oh my god. You can't make this stuff up, y'all. You cannot make this up, stuff up. Okay, solution contains a symbol. Place the symbol in the correct... Okay. So there's a few symbols. Let's just pick all the symbols. Oh dang, there's a lot of different ones. Um, let's not do death. Let's do arm. Okay, so two of them are correct, but not in the right place. I'm gonna assume the heart and the arm. This is so stupid. <laughs> um, okay, so eye and lungs are probably not right, so let's do foot. And skull. Oh. Okay. Foot and skull were completely correct. Um. Heart. 
and lungs maybe hmm so heart is correct and I wait no lungs and arm lungs and arm Boom. Take that, French toasties. <laughs> A plus. Do not. <laughs> I'm blocking you. <laughs> Don't do that. Make French toast and send me pictures. You know what? Do that. Because I don't want it. I won't even be jealous. I won't even be jealous. I'm a junior doctor, Arsty. This is what I do. I save lives. Dang it. Midnight French toast. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What do you see? Okay. What is the diagnosis? The symptoms are relatively clear. I think it's early stage pneumonia. Oh no. Things don't seem so bad for now, but we'll keep you here as a precaution. Yes, yes. Better safe than sorry, right? That's right. You're a nice young man. I'm glad you're my doctor. Thank you. I'll do my best to get you well again as soon as possible. I'll see you later, okay? Just call out if you need anything. we Will do. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. The torment that I have had to deal with today. Finley. You got a minute? Sure, what can I do for you? I know she's in good hands. That's all I can ask for. We'll get Irma back on her feet. I know, I know. I'll head out now. I gotta finally reopen Gilbert's today. Don't take this personally, but I hate hospitals. The smell makes me anxious. Same here. Same here. And then I guess we'll, we'd better catch up at Gilbert's next time. Sure, come by any time. I will. All right. I just realized what time it was, y'all. So let's, uh... Oh, I was like, I heard a door open. Let's talk to Dr. K. I think we should be done for today. I'm done, Dr. K. I can see that. All right, then. Let's see what you've got for me. I got all A's take that. I got an S tier rank with the smiley face. Do you need anything else? No, thank you, but the new patient? What about her? She's very friendly. Is that so? Old Miss De Calma is very popular in Porcupine. I've known her for a long time, too. Take good care of her, Finley. You'll be in charge of her treatment. But don't neglect the others just because you think Miss De Calma is nice. Personal considerations should never get in the way of your work. Even if you absolutely hate a person, I don't hate her, okay? I don't hate her. I just wish she chose waffles instead of French toast. That's all I'm gonna say. Always treat them to the best of your ability and understanding. Take a break now. In the meantime, I'll check on Miss Takalma as well. Okay, thank you for placing your trust in me. Hmm. No praise? I got S tier rank. Hey Mia. Ugh. Are you okay? Are you done for the day? I'm double done. Tired? Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting used to the shift work. Tell me about it. Have you eaten today? I'm so hungry. No, now that you mention it, have you ever been to the cafeteria? Not to eat, but maybe today is a good day to change that. I'd say it is. Let's do it. I hadn't realized how hungry I was until I, you mentioned it. 
now I can't think of anything else. That's what we call a remote diagnosis. Shall we go? Um, yes, before there's nothing left. Correct answer. Hurry up. My stomach's practically roaring with hunger. Is that even medically possible? They must hate you at the library. Finley. All right, all right. To the cafeteria. Where is the... Where is the cafeteria? I don't know where anything is. That has a coffee cup on it. That's not it. I don't know where I'm going, y'all. I don't know where I'm going. I've been streaming for 2 hours and 45 minutes, so let's try to find this cafeteria before I call it for today. Do I have, like, a map? <laughs> Do I have a map? <laughs> Help. Help. Oh, there's a help button. Thank you for the help. That's just what I needed. I'm going to assume the cafeteria is on the first floor. Let's just go downstairs. Let's just go. We'll go down and to the right, and it should probably be right there. Okay, I assume it's over here. Yes. Super helpful. Yeah. Yeah, very helpful. Doesn't tell you where. Hey, Lisa. Mia, hey, how are you on break? Who's this you've brought with you? Have we met? I don't think so. I'm Finley. Nice to meet you. I'm guessing you're on internal medicine too? I don't think I could do what you do. But if you want me to cut something out for you, just say the word. Jesus Christ. I can't decide what to eat. Don't see anything you like the look of? Oh, quite the opposite. All the dishes sound delicious. Really? Yes. <laughs> Sergey's an amazing cook. With knife skills like that, he'd fit right in at surgery. I'd like to see that. Go on ahead. I need a moment to decide. All right, thanks. Let's buy our food, please. What have you got? Art, the finest col culinary art in town. Just choose your artwork and prepare to be taken on a wild journey. Gotta head to the store, but thank you for streaming. I'm thinking of getting this now. Great! Yes, yes, yes. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. Let me know what you um, what you think of it, Artsy. I really like it. Even though Finley prefers French toast, I like it. <laughs> but thank you for stopping in. I'm gonna add your link again. If anyone wants to go follow, go follow them. Go follow the Artsy Gamer here on YouTube. They restarted or reset their island recently, so. If you like early ACNH gameplay, go follow them over there. Um, let's see. Pineapple? Did he say pineapple? Sweet yellow fruit combined with crunchy lamb's lettuce and pickled artichoke hearts. A gourmet delight. So go on, what it will be? What does Mia want? She doesn't care. You pick something, I'll eat just about anything. Okay, I would like... The pineapple wrap, the pasta, the sesame sorbet, the tomato tart, the ravioli with mashlonka sauce. How, what is that? Why, why are these so fancy? What kind of sauce is that? I'm not going to pick the... I know this probably does not even matter. Um, I'm not going to pick the pineapple one because I'm allergic to pineapple. Fun fact, y'all. 
ripe tomatoes, roasted peppers, onions, garlic, EVOO, cilantro. I think I'm going to pick the ravioli. Yeah. We're all out of that. Sorry. My dishes are just too popular. Can... Really? What about the other pasta? Out of that too? The tomato tart? Is he gonna make me eat the pineapple? The pineapple wrap, really? I'm allergic to pineapple. Whatever. Whatever. I just can't win tonight. I can't win. I can't win. Mm mm mm. Whatever. Food is food, I guess. <laughs> How is it? It looks not great. That looks awful. The wrap? Um, interesting, I guess. What do you think of it? I'll be honest. I can't stand pineapples. Thank you, Mia. Thank you. But I didn't want to complain, and I was so hungry I didn't care. But I actually meant work. How's it going for you? Yum. Yeah, delicious. We both started here just a few weeks ago. I'm, you're allergic to kiwi, Gubs? My mom's allergic to kiwi. Like, are you for real? I'm allergic to pineapple, my mom's allergic to kiwi, and my brother is allergic to carrots. And cats. Like, my mom and my brother are allergic to cats, but like, food-wise, mom, kiwi, brother, carrots. Me, pineapple. Makes no sense. That's wild. <laughs> And I just realized that we haven't even talked about our experiences yet. Sometimes that helps. To reflect on oneself, I mean. You have, yeah, you have the pet allergies. Mm -hmm. I'm allergic to nature, y'all. <laughs> Outside. If a flower is blooming. If a tree is blooming. It gets me. And I can't eat pineapple. I can't have any joys in life. Pollen is my nemesis. Same. McBeal. Same. For once, I will agree. True. Somehow we haven't had a chance yet. Well, I think I like the St. Ursula's. I don't know that many hospitals yet, but I think we made a good choice. Yeah, probably. And the staff are really nice. That's true. But Dr. K can be pretty nasty. Yeah, she's really been eating me alive, too. But I'll win her over. Sure, sure. I just wish I was more punctual. Every day I come rushing in at the last minute and you're already here and ready to go. I need to work on that. Yeah. Is everything okay? You, you don't have to eat the wrap if you don't like it. Well, I... Bon appetit, my dear colleagues. You too. How do you like Serge's cuisine? Pretty good so far. Yeah, pretty good. Good, good. That's what I like to hear. When the staff are happy, I'm happy too. I'm sorry I missed the opportunity to introduce myself the other day. It didn't seem like the right time, so was I... <sighs> so I was hoping I could make it up to you now. My name is Roman Heydrich. I'm the executive director of St. Ursula's Hospital. I try to keep things running as smoothly as I can and to fulfill the wishes of our dear chief physician, Dr. Theobald, and of, and of the staff, of course. My top priority is the welfare of our patients. That's how it always been and how it always will be. The two of you are new here, so I wanted to impart that info to you personally, especially since some of you had a different start here. I don't blame you for the incident Mister with Mr. Arndez. You're new and mistakes happen. Why do I get blamed for this? And I see no ill intent in your actions. You only wanted what was best for the patient. So much so that you put your own health at risk. 
Nevertheless, we've had to make certain accommodations for him. He's now at the best care center in the country, where he will hopefully recover quickly. I'm glad to hear it. I hope he gets better soon. Anyways, enough of such matters. Let us look to the future and continue to make St. Ursula's Hospital a place of healing. I'm glad to have you back on, bo on board. That's what I really wanted to tell you. Mia's like, cool. Can you go now, dude? All right, time for me to go. Don't you want to eat anything? No, thank you. I satiated my appetite some time ago. Besides, work never sleeps. Enjoy your meals. Yeah. And your work. These pineapple wraps are delish. Are you sure you don't want any? That was interesting. You can say that again. Are you done? I definitely am now. Let's get back to the ward then. Mr. Hydrick's right. Work never sleeps in this hospital. Okay, let's go. I guess we'll head back upstairs. Um, before I do that, I am going to stop it right here before we get into another long-winded dialogue session. Get back to the wonderful tunes at the front screen here. I'm going to move myself. Eh, I'll leave. Uh, eh, mm, eh. I'll move over here. There we go. And I'm going to turn that down just a smidge. All right. I am going to end the stream right here. I don't believe anyone is streaming right now. It's kind of an odd time. Yeah, nobody. <laughs> Architectural Digest is is streaming, but it's not it's not a stream like that. But yeah, no one else, no one else at the moment. But thank y'all. I guess <laughs> for being here. For being here, I guess. I guess that's a thing. <sighs> Thank you for a great stream and for confirming how... No. No. There's no French toast confirmation here. No. Do... I don't even want... I don't even want to know. I don't even... No. I see nothing. I see nothing. Actually, I do see something. Ugh. No. No. Disgusting. I don't approve. I don't approve. I don't approve. It should be waffles. In fact, I'm going to add waffles to my shopping list. I'm buying waffles tomorrow. I see. I see where you sent the clip to Sean now. <laughs> I'm adding waffles to my shopping list. Waffles. Waffles and um, syrup. Syrup. And milk. Milk. Victory? No. Get out of here. Get out of here. On that, I'm leaving. <laughs> On that alone, I'm leaving. It does not. It tastes awful. <laughs> Gups? 
That is not nice. That is not nice. <laughs> I'm changing. I am changing this command to include everyone who was involved with this French toast gate today. No. No. I'm changing that command. Next stream, if I hit that exclamation point ban, it will say something a little different. It's going to say a little, something a little different. I'm going to add Patty to that list. I'm making a note. Look here. Making a note right now. Ban. We're going to ban McBeal. You're already in there. Seth. Gubbs. Patty. I won't do that to Artsy, but I'm going to do it to, to y'all. Little, little hooligans in here. Too much. Too much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, y'all. I'm going to end right here. Um, I'm going to go back to the game so you can see it. I'm going to end on this screen. Not a dark screen, please. Um, I'm going to end right here. I'll stream again. I will see you all again on Thursday for Thursday stream of Animal Crossing. Um, but I do want to get further in this game, but I'll probably save it for the weekend or maybe sometime during the week. But the next time I stream for sure this week will be Thursday and it'll be Animal Crossing. We're very close to getting down on Cardinal. I have some news on Cardinal, so you'll just have to wait and see on Thursday's stream um, what news that will be. I don't know if the stream will be during the day or at nighttime. I'll just hopefully schedule it ahead of time. You'll see when, you'll see it when you see it. Um, I recorded a game earlier today that will be in an edited video. Probably Thursday is when it will release. Um, but yeah, I got Fall of Porcupine. Again, thank you to the to the publishers providing me a code. I love this game so far, even though pineapples and French toast were involved. <laughs> but I am I am gonna have a snack, finish my almonds, and uh, call it an evening. I will see y'all later this week. Have a good rest of your Sunday, I guess. Monday, if you're living in the future, I don't know. Happy time zones. I'll see y'all when I see you. Bye, y'all. Thank you.